Hi, welcome back to Seven String Media. I'm Yusuf, and today we're learning Watermelon Sugar by Harry Styles. Step one, put your guitars in standard E tuning. This song has four basic chords in it. D minor seven. Middle finger is on the second fret of the G string. My pinky is on the third fret of the B string. And my index finger is on the first fret of the E string, the lower E. I recommend muting these top two strings. And the next chord, A minor, index finger is gonna go on the first fret of the B string and your middle finger is gonna go on the third fret of the D string. Grab it with these two fingers and I pull up under. I mute it with my thumb. I go to C, ring finger on the third fret of the A string, middle finger on the second fret of the D string, first finger on the first fret of the B string. Mute the unused strings with an unused finger. So here's how the G works. You're gonna put your middle finger on the third fret of the E string, your first finger on the second fret of the A string, and your ring finger and your pinky on the third fret of the B and E string, respectively. Let's do it again. D, A, and C. The strumming pattern is this. You know, it turns out I don't even need this. Hmm? I'm just going to go ahead and take it. Um, the mic is picking up the guitar just fine. Chords are like colors. You can have dark blue or purple blue. Chords are the same way. Different voices of the same chord that have a different tint to it because it's it's an it's a note that's modified with other notes, right? So you have a root note that you're playing, and the other notes are modifiers to that root note. In every chord, you have a root note. So I saw when they played live, looked like Harry. It doesn't look like, I mean, he did. I mean, <laughs> he did have a capo on his fifth fret. Of his acoustic guitar. It's true. And this is how he played it. He played it like, like a G shape. Okay, so he's up here now. Put your capo or capo or crapo, <laughs> put it like right here, just behind your fret and make sure that, make sure your strings are even like evenly pushed down and not pushed to the side. Sometimes they can get pushed to the side like the E string can. He plays an A shape, basically, basically just an A power chord shape. Then he plays an E power chord shape. It's an E5, actually. And then he plays the G shape. And then he plays the D shape. So he plays a different set of chords than the other guitar parts. So these two guitar parts are combined. So that's how Harry plays the acoustic part. And I, th I think he, that's what he plays when he sings because these are easy notes to play and strum to and sing on. And they're very familiar, it makes it easier to play. So this is how I play it on the electric. D. Let's do it again. D, A, and C, G.
the lead when it turns into a death metal song, right? Five on the A string. And that's it. And then there's a, there's a lead part where they go. That's on the D string, five to seven, three to five, two, and you gotta bend it a half a step and come back down, and that's how you play it. Three, open A, three, five, three, open. Three, open. Three, five, three, open. Resolve on the A, an open A. Wow. Mm -hmm.